Benvenuta. Welcome to my channel. In this video, Don Dolindo is going to continue telling us of his vision for the role of women in the church. He called this the mystical priesthood of women. His vision was ahead of its time and greatly misunderstood. So much so that Don Dolindo was even accused of wanting to ordain women and advocating for their ordination. Rather, this is the common priesthood that St. Peter spoke about in his first letter in chapter 2, verse 9, and that is also laid out for us in the Vatican II document, Lumen Gentium. St. Peter tells all of us who are baptized members of the Church, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, that you may declare the wonderful deeds of Him who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Don Dolindo writes, The mystical priesthood of these feminine souls, therefore, is neither the actual priesthood, as if they could possess the sacred priestly character, which is impossible, but neither is it the mere external participation common to that of any believer. Rather, it is something in between. I am unable to adequately express what this participation entails, but it can be grasped by reflecting on the role of Mary Most Holy at Calvary. Mary did not assist at that supreme sacrifice in the same capacity as did Mary Magdalene and the other pious women. Mary carried out that sacrifice together with Jesus and while only Jesus could sacrifice himself, Mary offered him and sacrificed him as his mother. Thus, she efficaciously received in her immaculate heart those infinite riches that flowed out from the sacrifice of the cross. Our Lady herself, in a locution to Don Dolindo, speaks about the mystical priesthood. Mary says, The soul that detaches itself from the world and dedicates itself wholly to God thereby weds itself to infinite love instead of earthly love and in so doing becomes exceedingly and exquisitely fruitful. Virginity does not consist solely in the physical sense, but encompasses the entirety of the soul's attraction to God. It is a total consecration of one's life to God. It is an animating and vivifying love that transports the soul outside of itself and immerses it in God. When in the place of the priestly seal, it is love itself that envelops the soul and distances it from human misery, then a different kind of transformation occurs, one that does not consist of a permanent seal but remains dependent on the free will of the person. Nevertheless, this transformation also has a mystical and sublime quality. In this mystical priesthood, one does not acquire sacramental powers, nor does one receive the priestly seal. Rather, the soul becomes a living Eucharist, for love transforms him or her into another Christ. The soul also becomes a living penance, for self-sacrifice renders it a victim. The soul becomes a vital voice for an apostolate with the example that it gives to others and by the influence that it exercises 
right there where God has placed it. The soul becomes a sweet perfume for Jesus. Thank you for watching and listening. Arrivederci till next time. Gesù pensaci tu. Jesus, you take over. Take care of everything.